Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to the second, technically, episode of Sim Casino. And the reason I say technically is because the casino looks a little bit different from the first episode that you guys seen. I have a little confession. I recorded the second episode. I then finished it. I, I, I did a lot of stuff. I, you sh I, I became the ultimate fool. I learned a lot of stuff. It was an emotional roller coaster. And then when I finished pressing record, I then went to edit the video, and for some reason the file corrupted. And we will you will never get to see the foolishness that unveiled in the second episode. So technically this for me is the third episode, but it's the second episode for you guys right now. Uh, I'm not very happy about it. I was kind of annoyed uh, because I've done I've, I've made some great great um discoveries. I've learned a lot. I there was a lot of foolish moments. Like I said it was a pure emotional roller coaster that the world will never see. Now, I'll get into exactly what happened in just a moment because I want to say guys you did enjoy the first episode so, so much. We are back with technically a second. Uh, if you do enjoy this and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are already here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when those next episodes do come out. Now, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what happened because a lot happened. I made a lot of discoveries, like I said. I learned a lot. You guys gave me some tips. It was freaking glorious. First things first, I'm going to pull it to pause. I discovered you can drop the walls by pressing this button up here, bam, shabam, which reveals a whole lot of new stuff. And what I did, I first started, guys, with additional slot machines. I repositioned the slot machines from, like, um, well, over here, and then moved the uh, tables over there. I placed more down because someone said, yo, Seniac, the machines don't require staff. One way to kind of balance out making money over paying staff wages is putting down machines that require no staff. So I placed down more slot machines. More and more and more. I got um, all of these here, which are five... No, what are these? These are 25 cent, uh, pound, well, cents or pence, we want to call it, machines. These are 5p, they're 1p. Then I got these over here, which are a pound. And I thought, you know what, let's just do it. And these four here, I decided to make a £10 game, thus making me tons of money. Move the tables over here just to reposition them, so I got a little bit more room there to add in potentially more. And then my next great discovery was after that, and we generated a little bit of cash, hotel rooms. Yes, I built hotel rooms. Now, it required me building a hotel reception area which has a retail worker. To have hotel rooms, you need a hotel laundry to do the, the washing for the bed sheets and stuff like that. And I first started by building this one. We built a room which has its own private bathroom. It's got a double bed, two side tables, a little computer desk, a TV mounted to the wall, a wardrobe, SIG, toilet, a shower, and bath, all within one room. And we're currently charging £300 per night because you can slide it up and down. And I did have it at 270 for a while, but I thought, you know what? Let's just go the full shebang. Price satisfaction, it's still almost 80%. We'll go for £300 right there. And then I did that. We made some money, and that was a turning point to where I started to make, not profit, but really close the deficit for how much money we're losing. We went so well that I built a second one, and then I built a third one, and uh, it turns out pretty good. Now, what you'll notice is, as we continue to play, there is quite a demand for hotel rooms, meaning I do need to build a few more. Uh, the demand is quite high. Because every time a room comes available, everybody in the casino walks over to the reception area to get a room. And the sheer amount of people that walk over there just shows you that we have a huge demand. Now, before I show you all the other stuff, this is what's going down. This is today so far. I've made a total of 8,000 income. Bearing in mind, we've only got 12 minutes left on the day. The previous day, day 5, I made 5,300. So you can see how we're steadily increasing it. Now, the difference is, I also discovered something extra. Staff schedules. Yes, I discovered staff, uh, staff schedules, which I didn't perfect them last episode. I just implemented it in the bare minimum, which I need to kind of uh, perfect it this episode, which I know exactly what I need to do. I figured out a way because my biggest money loss was um, wages. Now, if we go to day four, 7,900. Day five, they're a little bit lower. That's when I discovered how to do it. Uh, but that was more towards the end of the day. Today, they're pretty much the same, but that's only because we've actually hired more staff, believe it or not. <laughs> but they still stay the same. Now, I've got to edit a bit more and sort it all out anyway. 
But I've got it all set up to the fact that when it's night time and we don't really have any people gambling, I send my workers home, the, meaning I don't have to freaking pay them. And I discovered all this within the organization tab managing uh, the nighttime and daytime, which they currently go home at 10 p.m. and come back at 6 a.m. I've kind of discovered nothing really happens in the casino until 9 a.m. So I can get an extra three hours of not paying people, which will be pretty sweet. So then... I thought, you know what, we're making so much money right now for rooms, we need to bring more income. So I placed down two vending machines here, snack and uh, soda vending machine, which started to generate a little bit of cash, $63 on that one, $138 on that one, pretty good. Then I implemented the bar, which so far has made $651. See guys, money is slowly coming in, and that's as pretty much as far as we got last episode. Now, things I've noticed, the bingo hall, if I go to manage the game, uh, manage entertainment, is always losing money. I don't think I have enough custom yet or enough tables and chairs in there yet to justify having a bingo hall. It loses us a lot of money. I have to pay two staff wages. So I think for now, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it and I'll move the blackjack table, the uh, hold poker, the roulette, and this cashier's cage in that room instead, thus giving me more room around here for more like slot machines and whatnot. Uh, that is going to be the way to go. Also today, I'm hoping I've got enough money because I, I really do need to turn the tide. We're only losing 2000 this day because uh, I start need to make money because I want to build more hotel rooms, which makes us a lot of cash and then eventually get to the point where we can build a freaking buffet. So, <sighs> deep breath, Seniac. I'm going to take a nice little sip of cup of tea. Hold on. Ah, so damn good. So damn good. That's what I did last episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and I feel so bad that it didn't work because I wanted I wanted you guys to see. Well, the first part of the episode, I made a fool of myself. The second part, I redeemed myself and learned so much. And I really wish you guys seen that emotional journey that I went on. But anyway, let's get this all up and running first then. So, if I put it into play mode, what we're actually going to do is um, build. And how do I remove a room? D zone. There we go. We're going to D zone this. And then I want to get rid of the objects, which to get rid of an object is this. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. There we go. And let's just put it into play mode for now. Which then does mean that these peeps over here can officially go home. I no longer require your services. So skedaddle out of here right now. Which is exactly what they're doing. Off they go. Toodaloo. And I can reposition all this stuff. And you can also see at this time as well, we don't really have... Um, who don't we have? There's a few peeps that we don't have. Oh, the table staff. We still have this one here because that one person's still playing. Go home. Go home right now. So let me move this then. Move this, reposition it. Um... Let's just get it there, like kind of on the entrance as you walk in. We'll get the roulette table moved just there. We'll get the poker table just there. And then we'll move this, um, the blackjack table, just in there. So it all kind of at the minute has its own little room, which gives us more space over here to place down more machinery <laughs> in, a, in a way. Now, I... I did mention last episode, but nobody would have seen it. I got to stop talking about last episode. It, it, didn't, it doesn't even exist, Seniac. Uh, is the fact that I want to create one uh, right now, a small little casino that can generate us a nice ton of cash. And then once we got like a healthy like profit and we got quite a lot of money in the bank, I'm then going to completely sell it up and then build the casino of my dreams. So for now, the layouts are going to be a little bit all over the place, but I don't mind that too much. Watch this. There is free unassigned workmen. Um, consider moving the schedule. There's free unassigned workmen? Workmen? No. There, there should be zero. Don't lie to me now, game. Don't lie to me now. I have them unassigned. I have these free workmen unassigned. Or do you mean trusted staff? They're free unassigned. Oh, workmen tasks. Ah, uh, yeah, that's because... I have boxes over here that workmen have to kind of pick up, I think. I could sell that. I'll just leave it there anyway until the uh, the workmen come in. But uh, yeah, it's all about trying to make that money. So 
we should now technically have reduced our wage bill, which is going to be a good one. I'm actually also going to jump back into the staff management and the da, 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 the, the schedule because I need to make night time last till 9 a.m. for the trusted staff and then do it because you have different routines, Monday to Friday, then Saturday to Sunday. For the who else did it to the workmen also till nine because nothing really happens. And I can I can save an additional three hours of of money. The same with the pit boss as well. And oh gotta do the other hours as well. Until we have like a bigger fully fledged casino where there's like lots of stuff going on all different times of day, then there's just no point at the minute. So go all that up and running. I need to get an additional hotel room in. So we are slowly expanding. This current Noidra room can hold up to 36 rooms at the minute at its current capacity. Now, I'm going to build a new hotel room in right now. So we're going to need to get the foundation. Um, oh, hold on. Up to to there. So is the room, I know the rooms are seven wide. So if I go to there right now, I'm going to, where's the de demolish wall? There we go. Demolish that wall. And you get to see me actually build a hotel room, which is actually quite exciting. So seven across. Then here was four across and then completely down. And that was literally the hotel room. And then we need to set up first the private bathroom. Then the hotel bedroom. Now you have to connect the private bathroom to a hotel room like that. Because that's how we... Um, set it up and get the monies private locked door that's what you need for a hotel room now let me select this and make straight away it worth 300 i know that the price satisfaction is now 10 percent, but until we start adding the objects that should slowly increase so we need a well first this is where now all the money goes a bath we need a shower Are you going to rotate, boy? Let me go this way instead. There we go. We need a toilet, which goes there. I'm trying to mimic each room the same. The sink goes there, and that is the bathroom then all done. We had then the bed, which I chose a double bed. Because I was thinking, like, you know what? Maybe two peeps can stay at once, but only one person seems to want to lie on these beds. Oh, luxury. Luxury right now. And I made a discovery. We make more money from the hotel rooms than we do the actual casino. Which made me start thinking, am I running a casino business or am I running a hotel business right now? I don't know. But big TV on the wall. And there we go. And then the computer desk just down here. Give them all their needs and stuff like that. And that room is now done. We have 19,000 remaining. Which it's gone from now 10% price satisfaction up to 78%, which is really good. Really good right now. So that makes me an additional 300. There we go. And someone's taken the room. So I could have had an additional room and that got that person to stay right now, but I don't have any more room at the inn. I feel like I'm freaking Jesus right now. So that's another little sweet bit of cash money moolah coming in. So today then is a bit funky because I've just spent a load of money on construction. 9,300 and uh, 9,336, which we're losing 9,330, which means we, on the day as an overall, if I didn't spend that money, we'll be $6 up. But if I didn't spend that money, we wouldn't have had that extra room to sell that $300 um, night stay. So it is what it is at the end of the day, right? It is what it is. Now, it is currently 1.20 a.m. Not much goes down right now. This person here, trusted staff, shouldn't you be g -g -g gone? I'm still wondering why I have this person here. Roulette table, Texas Hold'em poker, blackjack. What table are you on? Poker. Uh, poker. Is there a different schedule for those different? No, they should all be the same, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know why you're here. Nobody even wants to play freaking poker right now. Nobody. Nobody, I tell you. So, we're waiting now for 9 a.m. for the day to open again. The day to open, the day to start fully, where everyone starts arriving. 
and we are actually getting to the point where we're getting quite a few people walking in. I even set up a, a guard patrol up as well for my security guard to walk around. I completely forgot about that. Which is pretty good. We have a security guard in there. Why is... Uh, this person should have gone home. For the trusted staff. Um, uh, Trusted staff. Night time on a Sunday, Saturday. Yeah. It's a weird one. It is a weird one. I don't know what's going on. But that's what we got to do. We got to pretty much wait at the minute. Uh, you can even set the prices on the bar as well. You see all the different price satisfactions for some of the, the fees that I'm charging. And we do make some money off it, which is good. But all I want to do today is try and turn a little bit of profit. So we're coming day seven. It is a Sunday. It is the first Sunday we've ever had in this casino. So I'm not too sure how this day is going to pan out. I'm not sure if it's going to be a busy day. I'm not sure if it's going to be a quiet day. We got our... Um, is, is it a hotel maid? What are they called? Housekeeping. There we go. <laughs> Going around right now cleaning all the rooms, which then means all the... Well, some of the rooms will then be available to be um, rented out again, thus making me even more money even more money he says so we're in that kind of really really weird quiet period right now where we can't really do much now the pit boss is here shouldn't the pit boss also be at home these schedules are all over the place right now pit boss go home he's currently idle you shouldn't be here anyway you literally shouldn't be here maybe updates on the next day or the next time it kind of changes I don't know anymore. What is real life? What is real life? So, new peeps coming in. Made a little bit of money off the drinks on the bar there. And we're currently losing 10000 on the day. But remember, I did spend 9300 on the new room. So you got to take that into account. But the money will start happening as of 9am. So can you please hurry up, guys? Please. Hurry up. Worst case scenario, we're going to have to get a brand new, like a, a new loan to kind of see us through. But peeps are slowly starting to come in. Right, it's a half eight right now, which means any minute now, the floodgates will open. And it should just get busier and busier as the day goes on. So the fact that I don't have as well the, uh, the bingo hall in, because that lost me so much money, should save me a few pennies anyway. Right, it's 9, 9 a.m. There we go. Chunks of people are now walking in. And this is what it should be consistently throughout the day. So we've had 16 visitors today so far. And uh, we're waiting for them to increase and continue to go up and up. Money's slowly starting to, to, to come in right now. We've only spent two and a half grand on wages right now, which is good to see. Look at that, 24 visitors now, right now. So you can see how it's now slowly, slowly increasing, he says. Oh, damn, a lot of people came in right there. So we want them on these slot machines because they're like £10 to go. And that's how you get the big money. Look at that. Oh, my goodness me, 36 people now in. Damn, boy. Look at this. 43 people now arriving. Oh, man, this casino is in fire right now, boys. This casino is in fire right now. This is pretty good. So are we closing our deficit down? Yeah, look at now 9,900. So we dropped below that 10 grand. So we are definitely turning the tides, is what I like to say. So then we're going to start thinking about ways in which we can make more money again. Ways in which we can generate more cash. Oh my good God, we just had a chunk of people coming in. We're actually going to run out of machines for people to use at this point. Aren't we? We're really going to run out of machines and stuff. That's not going to be a good sign. That really is not going to be a good sign when we run out of machines. How are we doing for money? Okay, minus 12. Ah, we just, we just restocked. We just spent 2,500 on restocking all the stuff. So now as the day goes on again and progresses, we should start getting more money. But yeah, we need to find out other ways that we can make money apart from just gambling. Because there is uh, the odds that they could win money back. 
And the other option that we've kind of got is we've got accommodation, we've got business stuff where we can use business rooms. Now I noticed, if I can find it real quick, the is it here, the demands? You can see your visitors' demands and your demographic. We currently have a 150% uh, demand, local demand, Monday to Friday on business stuff. Which if I set up a little room for business use and then put in all the conference tables and whatnot, so we can have a, a computer room, a quiet area customers to perform last minute business work. Again, I'm slowly turning away from a freaking casino right now, aren't I? And then we have the conference room, uh, higher out for meetings, uh, which only has to be a small room. Again, another way that we can generate some money without having to spend any money. And that's what we're trying to do. Ways we can make money without having to spend the money. So that's a staff door there. I was going to think about doing like a little thing going down to here. But I could do it pretty much over here, to be honest with you. Uh, that's what I could do. So what would be the best method to me to try and... I, might, I mean, then again, these are staff doors as well. I might incorporate off this edge right now. So that money is slowly coming back into our pockets. That's what I like to see right now. We got so we got Oh, there's a person using the ten pound ones. Yep, spend all that cash, boy. Spend all that cash. We're gonna do some more expansions. So I'm gonna spend more money right now. So the the foundations I need to set up. And if I set it up like this, if I do a room six across there, and then six across there and then we do the corridor coming through uh, meaning that I need to dismantle the walls which will be these walls here and here and then I get the interior door there and there to get in here and we set it up as a first our computer room and then our conference room so the conference room itself then just simply requires uh, is a, a room for business customers to hire out for meetings. I can choose to do the conference table with four, the conference table uh, of capacity of eight. Now, obviously, this has more seating on. So I'm going to go with that one there. And does that mean, if I pause it for a second, can I charge? Do you not get any money for charging out or renting this conference room? Maybe not. Uh, so this way, uh, requires obviously the space, book container, computer desk, and a printing station. So I'm going to only put in one computer desk for now. Because that's because it is quite expensive. A printer can go right next to it there. And that's pretty much all we need for that. Oh, and we can use it. So PC hourly rate. If I do $7, printing charge... Two dollars fifty. I mean, they're quite. It's it's close to one hundred percent price satisfaction to get people to use it, and that should be a way where I don't have to spend money, right? Is that a skeleton? Oh my good god! Where are your clothes? Has she just literally come from the hotel room and not got dressed? Oh my goodness me! What is going on in this casino right now? This is meant to be a fancy and you know high reputable establishment right now and we got these damn folios walking through in their underwear we can't be having this oh room usage was that the conference um or was that the hotel room oh i don't even know anymore i don't even know so fast forward anyway i got 11 grand left in the bank so we need to get to that point where we stop losing money don't we we do need to slowly get to that point. Now, we've had 230 guests so far at this point, which is really interesting. And people just keep on walking in. So many more people keep on walking in. And I'm just waiting for that moment right now where someone's going to use our conference room or computer desk. Uh, computer room, sorry. That is what we're waiting for at this point. Now, I'll try and do the workings out momentarily. At 10 p.m., all of our staff are going to go home. And we've officially had over 250 visitors today. That's even more interesting. 
So our staff go home. Apart from the poker table, uh, poker table person. Which I still don't get why the poker table person doesn't want to go home. I still don't get it. Texas Hold'em. Makes no sense. Oh, maybe she can't go home. Maybe she's trapped in there. Nah, that wouldn't be the case. If I move, move it to there. No, that's not the case. I have no idea then. No idea. Don't even know, mate. Don't even know. So, we lost 17,000 on the day so far. Now, 16,000 of it was spent on construction. Which leaves us then with a 2,500 2 deficit. You could say we did pay some taxes, and you could say we did spend 2,500 grand on restocking. But the staff wages are a lot lower. Which is all I care about at this point. They're a lot lower. So today, we're in a new day. Let's see what this day brings. So my other option in to make some money is entertainment. Uh, all the other stuff i got to research, I can only do bingo hall, but we know that was too expensive at the moment. We have our gambling attractions right now, which we haven't really got any high limit gambling. Bit too expensive at the moment, boys. I could also do uh, food service, like a little buffet zone. Which, it will require a kitchen. And look how much all this stuff is. That's going to take a huge chunk out of my money to get that up and running. Comfort, we have all the seat. Oh, should we put some seating down so people can feel a little bit more comfortable? Uh, let's just go for some, like a cheap sofa. Um, is that the cheapest one? It is, yeah. And where should I pull it? Is it um, is it too wide? Yeah, I can have it at both ends of the machines here. So I'm gonna put another machine row on the back there. Whoops! It all kind of connects to it, which should hopefully increase my um, comfort ratings, <laughs> to say the least. To say the least. We see how those go. But on the whole, right now we lost one near one thousand five hundred. So I spent a thousand on construction. I just keep spending money on construction. But you gotta spend money to make money, am I right, guys? Oh, that person actually went home. Okay, that's good. That's good. I know we have unassigned staff wanting to do some certain things. There are no housekeeping on the go right now. I get that. I freaking get that. But they're gonna arrive till nine a.m. anyway. So. They're going to have to wait. They're going to have to wait. Now, I'm thinking about raising some of the prices on the slot machines. I don't know just yet. How much did we pay out yesterday? Gambling. That's all. Oh, look at that. Slot machine income. 8,000. Damn. Um... So, gambling, expenses, table game prize, cash payouts one. So yeah, we definitely made more money than we paid out in terms of the gambling. So that's that's good. That's a good sign for us straight away. So new day has oh there we go. Business users are using the room. Again, I, I don't get to. Oh, no, I don't even get to change that price there. Oh, that's cool. So, where does that come from in this? Then is it a uh, business here? So, okay, maybe then we don't make any money from the conference room, and all it does is attract more people. To, oh, more people want to use the computer. Did you did you spot that? But it is way. It, it is quite expensive to keep buying more and more. 
Uh, they, yeah, so he brings more people in the com. He brought eight, no, he brought two, four, six people in, and then some of them went and got a drink. So while it doesn't make money the conference room, it attracts people throughout the day in your quietest period. That makes so much sense. Oh, that is so cool. And there we go. Is that a table full of eight? Damn, son. And which maybe only like, you know, 25% of them might then go on to use the rest of the facilities. I'll take it. I'll just take what we can really pretty much get at the end of the day. So, down 1,200 a day, but the, the, the proper day hasn't started. This is just simply to kind of slightly see us through. We made the most money for, so far of accommodation uh, right now, which is uh, pretty good. So that's why we need the buffet set up, because then we can start, like, doing... I mean, I don't know if it works, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if it kind of works like that. But that's what we can kind of get, like, set up in the long run. But once I can afford it, it would definitely make sense to get more computers in. It really would. It really would right now. So, here's the guess right now. The needs and stuff. So, what is our lowest one? Well, we don't really know, do we? Uh, the lowest one right now, it, it was, was it, was it boredom? It can't be, I mean, it's pretty much all good. Sleep's gone down a bit. I could do some marketing, but it does cost me quite a bit of money. But it only, it's only estimated 20 to 40 new visitors. Hmm. Not too sure on that one. Yeah, not too sure on that one. I don't think we're in the position to do marketing. It's too expensive to do rewards that we're going to get back in return. Um, but only 1,400 that we're losing on the day. Bearing in mind, I spent 1,000 of it. That's all, I, that's all I can do to justify it. Guys, I did spend 1,000 on chairs. There is that going on right now. But now we get into the, the busier part of the day where more stuff is slowly now starting to happen. There is more visitors turning up. There's more gambling happening. More rooms are being rented for the hotel. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking about getting rid of the... Uh, what are these? Ones? These are on the pennies. 25 apply to all in a row. They're 25. They're a pound. These are 5 cents. What are these ones? A pound. You've got to keep some low to draw some people in. But I'll just get rid of the penny ones because and make it a little bit higher. Tricking them into gambling a little bit more. Only, <laughs> only slightly. <laughs> only ever so slightly. Ever so slightly right now. So casino valuation is 235,000. I could save and sell the casino and be left with 235,000, but we need to advance it a little bit more and try and get a little bit more money out of it to push us in the right direction. So do I just pull out the loan? I think I might pull out, I mean, if we can't turn it around too much again, we're getting close to turning it around. But if I can't make serious money today, then I think next episode we're going to pull out a loan, build the buffet area, thus making us another kind of area to make money as we slowly expand the casino. Because there's so much money being spent here in just the slot machines. But I'm getting to the point where we are actually getting quite a few customers come through the door. Now, granted, it is a Monday, so I expect these days to be quieter than the weekend. We had over 250 on the Sunday. So, yeah, like I said, I do expect these to be a little bit quieter. Um, down to 1,300 that we're losing. But we've only got to rent out all the rooms again, and that completely clears that debt. Cash distributors. Um, deliveries. So this is bringing all the stuff. I'm going to change that to one crate. One crate. One crate. No, not 11. One. One. So reduce how much we're bringing in. 
on the transportation. So hopefully we spend less money on stocking, which is 1,100. There we go. So not the 2,500 that we did on the previous day. Now we're down to minus 600. So this is where the casino comes to life, and that's where we really start to make our money. Is on the evening time, when it gets a whole lot busier. So busy, in fact, we're down to minus 500. We just paid some staff wages. So we're at the point where we're breaking even on a day. That's actually quite exciting, isn't it? Thinking, I mean, thinking about how long it's taken me to get here and the expansions that I've had to do to and um, put into place to be able to get to this point. Uh, we definitely could do with more hotel rooms. <laughs> it, it, it is non-negotiable. We need more hotel rooms because they are making us serious, serious cash right now. But now the casino's at its log stage right now where nothing happens, staff have gone home, it's the last few stragglers. We might rent a room out here and there, but... Minus 500 on the day. You can't complain at that, can you? You cannot complain at that. Accommodation, nearly five grand. Yesterday, uh, accommodation, 4,200. So we made more today on the rooms. What does that show you? We're getting so close to breaking even. Please, just, just break even without spending too much money. <laughs> oh my goodness me it's good times boys it's good times right now so taxes just got paid were not very we couldn't avoid them so we lost 1600 on the day but we're getting ever so close boys ever so close how can we pay taxes when we didn't make a profit that's what I would like to know game that's what I would like to know right now how do you... I mean, what's the taxes we're paying on? Oh, property taxes. Ah. Right. So we've got to cram a lot more into such a smaller space. But for now, guys, we're going to end it for here. we got a huge monumental task next episode. It's the make or break episode next episode right now. Where we either make it or we break it. <laughs> <laughs> self-explanatory but yeah we either make the profit or we go bust and have to sell up and start again but from what i've learned today and the previous day and in the first episode if i did start a brand new casino right now i know exactly what i've got to do to make the big bucks and where i don't want to waste the money so we could build a brand new one like right at this point right now and make some serious money but i want to try and improve the valuation of the casino so when we actually do sell it we're left with a little bit more money, a nice big chunk of money, which would be quite exciting. So, guys, if you did enjoy this and you can't wait to see the next episode, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new in here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when the next episode does come out. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good.